Welcome to the new and improved Random Words, the place where we talk about everything. Okay, so let's talk about social media for a minute. There's a lot of social media out there. I did a Google search to kind of see what there was because I'm not familiar with all of it. And I came on a site that gave me 60 plus social media sites. I am not familiar with more than half of them, but some I am. So let's take a look at the ones I do know. Facebook, I use it, love it, probably more than I should. Tumblr, I don't use as much anymore, but I have used. Uh, Instagram, wasn't really my cup of tea, so I don't really use it, although I still have an account somewhere. Twitter. Heaven forbid, if I could get into half the Twitter sites I have, I'd have a lot of work to do. Google+, Plus, which I use some. Skype, I didn't realize Skype was considered social media. Um, and I don't really use it anymore, but I did for a long, long time. And actually probably had a bit of a Skype addiction for a while, too. Line, I use Line Chat, but mostly for tablet games that I play. Snapchat I'm familiar with. I don't use it. I've heard the name. Um, I think I do know some people who use it. And someday maybe somebody will explain it to me. Not really my cup of tea, I don't think, though. Pinterest. Oh, my goodness. I have some friends who have, like, the biggest Pinterest addiction. I do understand why, though, because it's a really cool site to be able to find new stuff. Uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn's really neat as a social media site because it's more for professional social networking, which I have one, again, somewhere. Maybe we'll log into it at some point and see where I'm at on that one. I change so often, LinkedIn's hard to keep updated. Reddit, I haven't used that as much. Uh, I've done it for some searching. I didn't realize it was so much social media, as so to speak. Let's see, what else do I know on here? MySpace. Really surprised to see that MySpace still exists. I do know it's more changed over to a music-based social media site, but I remember back when that was the Facebook of my day. StumbleUpon. A lot of people don't know about StumbleUpon. I have used it. Great way to find new websites. Wonderful way to promote your websites. There's a lot on here I just don't know, so I'm still looking through to see if there's anything else I still use or am familiar with. YouTube. I guess I didn't realize YouTube was considered social media, so to speak. Um, I can see how it would be considered as such, and, well, I just basically call it the vortex because... It's so easy to fall into the vortex of YouTube, lose track of time. You start watching funny videos about birds and end up on heaven knows what. Most of these other ones I don't really use. Meetup.com, wonderful social media. I kind of see that as more of a networking site so that you can have face-to-face -face meetings. But I can see how it's considered social media and I have used it in the past. Not as much anymore. At some point, I hope to get back to doing some meetups again. So there's a lot of social media out there. I probably named five, ten-ish that I use. Everything else was cut out of the 60 that were listed, by the way, on that site. Not so. Either I don't know what they are, haven't used them before, or just not my cup of tea. Um, so is it a blessing or a curse? For me, for people like me who are traveling, and it's a great way to keep in touch with people from back home, um, new people that you meet along the way, those types of, of interactions from meetup and things like that. It's a good way to make some new friends local to your area. I think it's a complete blessing. But there is the other side to it, too. It could be considered a curse. More for, well, actually, I don't want to say more for. It could be considered a curse for anybody who struggles with any type of bullying, um, stalking, anything like that. And I've, I've been on that side of the coin. I've said it a dozen times. I can't imagine 
growing up in today's society where there is so much social media and you can't get away from the name calling, the harassment, the bullying, because it goes home with you. I wish I could remember the name of the movie I watched the other night, but I watched this really good movie about this young girl who couldn't get away from the bullying. It, it came home with her. It was constantly there with her. There was no escape. And she eventually tried to take her own life because of it. That's the dark side of it. So is social media more of a blessing or more of a curse? I guess it depends on who you are and what you're using it for. Now let's talk about one that I use in particular, which is Facebook. And I probably use that more than I should. There are lots of wonderful things about Facebook. I have pages that I run. I use it for advertisement and improving the business that I currently uh, manage. So there are really positive things to Facebook. I used it to keep in touch with my friends back home. I was fortunate enough to reconnect with a lot of my school friends who I now can actually call friends. But I have to tell you, when that first person many years ago tried to friend me from high school, I debated, did I want that back in my life? Because I struggled in school. And they may not remember, but I do. I felt on the side of things. I felt shunned. And even to some degree bullied. And I debated on whether I wanted that back in my life. Now I'm glad that I took that first one and then took the rest of them along the line because all of these people have become such incredible people. And they've become incredible friends to me. And I, I think that we've all grown and changed over time. And I was fortunate enough or smart enough to let them into my life again. And lucky enough to see that. But that's not always the case. Not everybody grows up. Not everybody learns to go past these things. And... There are a few that have had to be removed from my face, my Facebook friends list. There are a few that we just didn't mesh well, and they've removed me, and that's okay too. I am lucky to have a Facebook because I travel, and so I'm able to keep up with people that I've met along the way who I want to keep in touch with. You know, I've made some good friends gaming because I was an online gamer for a long time. And one of my best friends on the planet I made during, well, I, during my time playing Rift. And she and I are still friends, even though neither one of us really plays Rift anymore. And I've been lucky enough to have her come and visit me several times over the years. And, and that friendship means more to me than I could ever say. But if it wasn't for Facebook and social media... I'm not sure we'd be able to have developed that kind of a friendship and stayed friends over the years like that. Uh, my best friend in mass has recently finally joined the world of Facebook, and I'm so grateful for that because it allows her and I to keep in touch. So these are all really good things. But there are some negative things. One of those things is, please, for the love of Pete, do not fight on your Facebook wall. It's tacky, and most of us really don't want to see it. And to be quite honest, I don't do drama well, and so when I see it on my wall, generally I will either hide the post, and if I see a lot of it, I'll remove the person. Um, the please, please, please click this and like this, and if you, if you love me, you'll do this. I don't do if you love me, you'll do this well anyway. If you're on my Facebook friends list, I consider you a friend. I trust you to some degree because Facebook is where I share part of who I am. So if you're on my Facebook friends, I don't have to like your post to prove I like you. I don't have to recopy it and post it back to my wall or send you a chain letter saying how much I love you. I just do. And... Hopefully you know that. 
I, those are the things I find to be negatives. I don't want to see the drama. I don't want to see the, oh my goodness, I need your attention. If you're on my Facebook wall, you're getting some of my attention anyway. Because I do read the posts. I do look at the pictures. I am on Facebook more than I should be. And I probably check it more times a day than I should. I won't go as far to say as it's a, an addiction, but it's... I, I've only had a few weeks where I've actually not turned my computer on and checked Facebook fairly often. Of course, those are usually the times people go, Did you see my post? No, I probably didn't because I didn't turn my computer on this week. I'm so sorry. Just tell me. There's a lot more we could talk about when it comes to social media because, well, let's face it, social media is a big part of our lives now. Uh, you know, I remember, and some of you will remember, so many years ago when it wasn't, when we didn't all carry cell phones, when we weren't all checking our cell phones and our tablets and our computers multiple times a day. But it has become a very large part of our social lives now, of our daily lives now. So there's a lot we could talk about when it comes to this, but I'm dragging on and I'm going to cut this off at this point, but I want to hear what you think. What are your positive things about social media? What do you like about it? Do you use social media? How much social media do you use? And what do you find to be the negatives about social media? What bothers you when you see it on your wall? What do you want to see change about social media? What do you, how do you think it will change over time? So email me, message me, let me know what you think, and we'll talk again about this another time. See you soon.